and hi there how are you how are you today so how do we as leaders keep our team coming back how do we become that game-changing leader because in network marketing business there's lots of people that leave the attrition rate is very high so how do we flip that around and have people keep coming back for more so that's what i want to talk about today how would that make that feel for you what difference would that make in your business if people stayed and kept coming back for more so let's talk about that today i want to talk about uh two aspects of that how to become a leader and how to stay a leader so stay tuned so if you're joining me live please say hello and let me know where you're coming from i'd love to give you a shout out and if we haven't met before my name is olive dot and i'm here to inspire encourage train educate uh, motivate you uh, to bring your business online so that you don't have to chase after anybody and you have prospects coming to you using social media strategies so welcome so today is all about a leader and so what does leadership mean to you when you think of a leader who do you think of? Is there someone that you aspire to? I know I certainly have a few uh, mentors and people that I, you know, really want to become. When I grow up, I want to be just like them. So, and what qualities, you know, do they have uh, that you want to be? Uh, you know, is they for me, it's they have service and they have passion, uh, you know, and they care for others. Uh, they're approachable um, and understanding and there's a trust there. So maybe you feel the same, you know, uh, let me know, you know, what kind of qualities do you see in a leader? And so um, I have, you know, learned from them, you know, some of these qualities. And so I'd like, is it okay with you? Yeah, I'd like to share uh, some of these things, these uh, tips. There's three tips for how to become a leader and uh, three tips for how to stay a leader. And uh, so I'd love to share that with you today. Oh, good morning, Diane. Great to see you. Thanks for joining me. Lovely to have you on this morning. Ah, so characteristics of, uh, you know, a leader. So how do we grow into a leader? And so, of course, one of them is, you know, part of the uh, building your business online. So it's building your own assets, you know, building that audience uh, and growing your audience and developing influence. And we do that by creating our own brand, you know, building a fan page and, you know, uh, paying attention to, to what you're doing. So really thinking about, you know, what are their pains and problems and uh, finding, you know, solutions to those pains and problems so that you're attracting. Uh, those kinds of people and then the second part of that is to continue to develop those assets you know by showing up every day uh, being consistent and being committed you know like we said in the qualities you know part of that leadership is having that passion so you know being there every day for your people and offering that value and uh, you know showing your followers that you are going to be there for them helping them out and that's part of it continue so there's the building your brand and your fan page and then actually showing up and being there every day even when you don't want to some days you know you wake up and you just don't want to do it but then i get and that happens to me several times but then i get into the content and i review what i want to say and then I feel that passion coming up again. And so then that inspires me to, yes, I can do this. <laughs> and then the third part of that is that intellectual capital. So we have to continue to grow and learn ourselves so that it's not the same thing over again. We're improving our own skill sets. And that's what keeps you know, mine active because I know I'm a, definitely a lifelong learner. I'm always uh, learning something new or, you know, starting uh, something new, finding out new ways to do things. And that that's what helps with the inspiration. So if because if we stop learning, then you're not serving yourself or your team. So 
continue to apply you know what you learn and and giving it to your team so what from that you know uh, what have you gotten from that so far so about growing a team so it's you know building your business uh, continuing to feed that and then also continuing your own learning so that's it, growing a leader so then let's move on to how to stay a leader so now that you've got you know kind of these systems in place then how can we stay a leader and keep those people you know uh coming back to us because leaders create leaders so that's what we want to do we want to create leaders within our team and so the first part of that would be to model that consistent behavior so going back to you know the people that inspire you I, you know what are their behaviors so, so think about that and it's also being there for your team you know being in the trenches uh you know a lot of people or some people uh you know they can build up their business and then they just sit back in management mode uh, diane says that commitment always learning and keeping up on new things is so important and respecting your teammates yes absolutely respecting your teammates because people are going to have different ways of uh, doing things and that's good variety is wonderful so absolutely thank you for that so yes uh so we have to still be in the trenches you know and model the behavior if you know people see uh, if your team sees you sitting back and not participating then they're going to start to do the same thing so uh we're still you know as a leader we're a model uh, so be right in there and keep showing up and doing it and then the second part is really important and this is you know what uh, we're working on is creating a duplicable system uh, for your team because everybody starts at a different level and they're going to start from where they're at and so we need to create a system that they can just plug into so that they can start from where they are uh, you know creating those opportunities to show up and learn uh, have you ever been in a situation where you signed up for something, uh, you know, you talked to a leader in the beginning and then the relationship is over, you're on your own and you have nowhere to go and you don't know where to start and you don't know what to do. And so that's, you know, very typical of why people fall away. And so the flip side of that is to have a system and to be there for your team having and so to help with your time management is helpful to have a system that they can come in at and just get the information they need and it's like a roadmap type of thing and so they just go in where they're ready and make it easy make it duplicable <laughs> hard word to say so that you know they in turn can teach it to people that they bring on and so that's where the value is in having that system that's set up. And the third part of that is to stay a leader is to put people first. And that's so important. Uh, we're building a business, yes, but we have to have the people first. It's not about the money. It's about the people. So if you want to develop a huge team, then it's uh, making a difference in people's lives you know be that understanding that approachable person like all those characteristics that you think about you know when you think of the great leaders you know and what you know what are those characteristics that passion that caring you know and the trust uh, Diane says duplication is so important yes absolutely because <laughs> otherwise everybody's starting you know reinventing the wheel so having a system that they can easily copy makes it so much easier for your new team members so and uh, so just going back to those qualities of having the people first you can certainly tell the difference in some leaders that are just there for the system or for the money versus those that are there for the people uh, and of course, you're attracted to the ones that are there for the people. So uh, 
yeah, it makes such a difference. Like I am so appreciative, you know, of everybody that, uh, you know, follows me and joins me and joins in the conversation. It just makes such a difference. So what are you getting from this so far? So what are the, the key uh, points of that, you know, is uh, having that model, uh, that consistent behavior as a, a leader, you know, having a duplicate system and putting people first. So uh, that's all about, you know, being the leader and staying a leader. And that's so important in these times today. So if you're looking to dig deeper into any of this, uh, there's a free uh, 10 day video series that you don't want to miss. Because if you've got value, click the link that's going to be in the conversation uh, below, because here's what you'll get. You'll get all this information on how to recruit highly qualified prospects to, that can turn into leaders, you know, without chasing after the deadbeats. So if you'd like to uh, get that, then please uh, uh, click that link below and uh, receive your 10-day uh, your video series. And Diane says, it's not about me, it's about how I can serve others. Absolutely. Wonderful. So thank you so much for joining me and be sure to uh, uh, check out that 10-day uh, uh, video series and I will look forward to seeing you again on uh, Friday at approximately 9 a.m. So until then, have a wonderful day, whatever part of the day it is for you and I appreciate everyone that joins me. Thank you so very much and we will see you again on Friday. Bye for now.